Hello friends, welcome again to problem solving on mechanics motion chapter in physics. So we have been given with another good, very interesting problem. So what does this problem say? It says a body travels first half distance with a uniform speed u, right? Mark these words, uniform speed u and next half distance travels with uniform speed again and this time v find its average speed so you have to find out this is the demand of the question so mark it again thrice average speed we have to find out so it's a very good practice to read the question thoroughly at least a couple of times so that there is no ambiguity in your understanding right so a body travels first half distance with a uniform speed u next half distance travels with a uniform speed v find its average speed in such question guys what you need to do is first draw a representative diagram it gives a lot of cl clarity to your mind while solving problems it's very very good practice right so let me say this is the a and this point is b and let's say this is the half distance right so this point b let's say c correct so what is being said so he moves like that with a uniform speed u okay it's a case of uniform speed very clearly it's a straight line motion and from here to here, C to B, it moves with uniform velocity V. And I have to find out what average speed. Okay, so let's go one by one. So what is average speed? Basically, let's start from the demand of the question itself. So let me write solution, how to find the solution, right? What is average, average speed? If you go by the definition of average speed in physics, we say average speed is nothing but total distance since it is speed so we'll write total distance covered by the body or we also say traversed traversed by the object object divided by divided by what time taken time taken to cover the same distance time taken to cover cover that distance so don't take any other time the only time which it takes to cover that distance that's important okay so total distance traveled divided by total time taken clearly here the total distance traveled is the length of a b right so let's say the total distance in this case was d no problem let's say assuming d even you know you many people get scared of the fact that no information is given how to find that no worries let me let us you know assume it to be d what will happen at max you will not be able to find the value of d so big deal let's try so d is that and clearly c is the midpoint no doubt about it c is the midpoint so half the distance right so c is the midpoint this all of us know so the moment it is midpoint so euclid says and you would have studied that in maths as well so ac will be clearly d by 2 i hope there is no ambiguity in this understanding d by 2 right right guys and Okay, so d by 2. So, uh, a total distance traveled, I know in terms of d, but total time, how to go about the time. So, we don't know anything about the time. Are the two times same? Um, I don't think so. Why? Because the velocities are same and they are covering the same distance. So, time need not be same. So, can I just assume that in the first, first part, it takes t1 time and in the second part, second half, that is, it takes t2 time, right? So I don't know what T1 and T2 are. So no problem. We will see, you know, if we can find the value, nothing like it. Otherwise, we'll see how to go about it. So T1 and T2 becomes the time taken for the first half and the second half. Now, what do we know, know from the physics point of view? So in physics, we can say that speed or uniform speed is what? Uniform speed. This is the underlying physics concept. What is uniform speed? If the body is undergoing a straight line motion again uniform speed always happens in straight line motion no sorry it is uh, only for uniform velocity it happens in straight line motion but uniform speed can happen also in non straight line motion because we are not talking about the direction we are only concerned about the magnitude right so uniform speed if you see it's nothing but in this case the first half let's say the first let's take the case one first half can i not write i is equal to u uh, in this case u is equal to d by 2 upon t1 right d by 2 upon t1 right so u is equal to d by 2 upon 
T1, right? So hence, what will be uh, T1, guys? T1 can be written as D by 2U. D by 2U, right? I hope this is understood. So this is speed upon time, uniform speed, whatever is the speed. What is the formula of speed? Speed is equal to distance upon time. So the time taken was T1. Distance was D by 2. So hence T1 is D by 2U. Let's come to the second part of the journey. What is happening here? Here the velocity or the speed, uniform speed is V. And the distance was D by 2 again. And the time was T2, right? So from here, can I not say that T2 is equal to D by D by 2V. T2 is equal to D by 2V. So let's go back to our average speed formula. Average speed is total distance traversed by the object divided by time taken to cover that distance. So hence, can I not say that average speed, which is uh, which can be written as U or V, any anything and a bar over it. So this bar represents average, right? Or many, many literature or many books will say U average will be nothing but total distance. How much is the total distance guys? D by 2 plus D by 2, first half and the second half. Divide by total time. So T1 plus T2. This is the total time. So hence it is D upon. What was T1 guys? D upon 2U. Check T1 plus D2. Or T2. T2 is D upon 2V. Correct. So now only mathematics is left. I hope you understood total distance is D. T1 is this one. T2 is this one. And you now need to simplify it. So how is it? So if you see, it can be written as D upon and d common in the denominator d by 2 rather and 1 by u plus 1 by v i hope the mathematics part is clear to you so this d and this d will go so what will happen this 2 will just go up in the numerator so hence it becomes 2 divided by 1 by u plus 1 by v see automatically all the variables which we didn't know d and t1 and t2 are eliminated so no problems, u and v was already given. So if you simplify this, you will get two and common denominator thing you have to take. So this becomes u plus v, isn't it? And hence, finally, the last step will be this part will now go up in the numerator. So it becomes two uv divided by u plus v. Okay, so this can be remembered as a result also. Let's say if half the distance is traveled with a uniform speed u and half with uniform speed v, so the average velocity will not be u plus v by 2. Many people make this mistake and they write u plus v by 2. So please be very, very careful, right? So if the distance are traveled as in half the distance is traveled with u and half the distance with v, so the average velocity will be 2uv by u plus v. That is the result, okay? I hope you understood this problem.